Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Zeddy here and I am back at it again to bring to you all a brand new what if one shot. Now, as you guys just heard, this is going to be a one part series and not really meant to be taken seriously. This is not at all what I think would really happen had the fourth Hokage came back to life. However, it is going to be heavily inspired by another YouTuber by the name of Shinobi Ray. He actually made a video called What If Minato Was Petty and after watching that, I just had to make my own take on what Minato would have done with more detail and of course in a longer you know way that being said all of his links will be down in the description the link for the video in case you want to watch it what if Minato was petty is extremely hilarious so I would definitely recommend clicking it as well as going over to his channel seeing as he makes Naruto MHA little skits and he's just a funny guy overall I've been watching him for a while and yeah that's basically all I really have to say for today other than the video sponsored and uh yeah with that being said we're kind of just going to get into the video seeing as it's going to be a short one as it is so i really don't want to waste your guys' time so with that being said let's just go ahead and um, um get started Okay, now this is probably the part where many of you guys are just like, all right, how is this going to work? How is Minato even going to get resurrected in the first place? Well, I have a pretty good plot convenience to help out with that. Y'all remember when Orochimaru was able to bring back the first, second Hokages? Well, essentially, I'm going to be having it where Orochimaru is basically going to be testing out his little uh, sacrifice, little resurrection Edo Tensei stuff, right? He's basically going to be doing his Edo Tensei stuff, and let's just say he tries to do it with Lord Fourth's body, right? He steals the Fourth's body, his blood, he, you know, he kills somebody, he sacrifices the little thingy or whatever, and this is when he would basically go outside. As, you know, he would start performing the hand signs, he would, you know, put the blood and all that stuff, and this is when he would resurrect the Fourth Hokage. Now, it's currently at this moment that Deku is at, I'm, I really said, oh my god, y'all are really about to crucify me down below in the comments, I can tell, but but anyways, Naruto would be about eight years old at this point, right? Now, this is when Naruto is basically still on the swing and everybody's just still awfully mean to him. They treat him like complete garbage. It's not even funny. Now, Minato would get resurrected and on some G stuff, he would of course be able to break out of the Edo Tensei, similar to Madara because plot and like... This is really a one shot, so it really doesn't have to make that much sense, all right? It really doesn't. Just know Orochimaru brings him back. You can really just sum everything up inside of your own head if you really wanted to. And you don't really have to pay attention to how it happens. Just know Minato gets resurrected, right? He ends up defeating Orochimaru in a pretty dope battle, which is, you know, it's pretty cool. But if you guys have seen Naruto and you guys watch Swag Kage or uh, what's it called? Or Seth the Programmer, you guys would know that a Minato versus Orochimaru fight would not go good at all for Orochimaru. See, I don't know if you guys know this, but during the battle against Orochimaru with the little Konoha destruction thing, essentially a bunch of ninjas were like, if only Minato was here. Meaning, Minato was there, he probably would have folded Orochimaru like a lawn chair, okay? So, with that being said, Minato basically blitzes, uh, you know, Orochimaru because, you know, he still didn't have him under his control, and he pretty much ended up GGing Orochimaru, causing the little uh, resurrection stuff never to get open and freed and all that stuff and therefore Minato kind of just stayed right this is when Minato would just be like yo like what like what now he would basically begin to ask around as he would go through the lair and begin to look for his exit as of course he's not exactly just there looking for exits because as we all know the flying rising marks never go away so minato would basically just be searching around to ask somebody what year it is how long has it been since he's been gone and this is when he would basically run into a little bit of a pod. Now, inside of this pod would be a boy with white and blue hair. 
He would see this and immediately free him out, as this would actually be Suigetsu. This is when Minato would pretty much start noticing that a bunch of other people are actually also in the same predicament, and he would just start freeing everybody. Now, a lot of them would just be scared. They'd be like, oh my god, it's a leaf ninja. You know, some of them would be like, what's going on? And this is when Minato would basically just tell them where the exit is at, as he would pretty much tell them to go to the leaf village if they have nowhere to go. As it's at this point that Minato, using his flying Raijin markings, would pretty much teleport right back to the village. As this is when Minato would pretty much arrive, and he would actually, funny enough, arrive right outside of the academy. Now, this is when Minato would actually see his son Naruto sitting on a swing alone. Minato can recognize him because, you know, it's a son. It's like if you can't recognize your own son, you probably shouldn't be a dad. But, you know. Yeah, he pretty much sees Naruto on the swing, and he's about to go up to him and be like, yo, like, Naruto, what's wrong? And he's just, like, holding back his excitement, but when he sees Naruto's expression on his face, and just sees that all the kids are just completely going away from him, Minato would just get a little bit of an angry look in his face, as it's at this point that Minato would pretty much put on a little bit of a, uh, he would use a transformation jutsu, as he would pretty much turn himself into a random villager. This is when he would essentially start asking questions about Naruto and he would pretty much start following Naruto wherever he goes, watching him for the rest of that day. This is when Naruto would basically be walking around through the village as he would walk past a store with masks. He would start checking out the masks that look very similar to the ones that the Anbu wear and this is when Minato would just start smiling. He's like, yeah, like check it out, you know, buy yourself something. As it's at this point that Naruto would pretty much start looking around and smiling for the first time since Minato seen him. He would get a giant smile on his face, as this is when the shop owner would be like, Get out of here, you demon fox! As he would pretty much throw the mask at him and be like, Take that thing. It's cursed now that you touched it. As Naruto would start crying and running away. This is when he would pretty much start kicking a, a, kicking a can across the road, as he would say, It's not fair. Why? Why is it like this? Minato would have to hold, him ba hold himself back so hard to not slaughter that villager on sight. However, he wouldn't, and this is when he would continue to follow Naruto around. Naruto would eventually arrive in front of a clothing store, as it would be by the name of Fandom. And this is when I'm now going to be introducing the sponsor of the video. Okay, so this is going to be a little different than my previous videos. If you guys don't know Fandom, they are basically a website which you can go on to copy yourself some very dope, dope anime apparel. As I'm talking now, there should be a bunch of panels that are popping up, basically showing things such as My Hero Academia merch, Naruto, Jujutsu Kaisen. Actually, I don't think I even put any Jujutsu Kaisen in there, but you know, bottom line, they have a lot of anime merch options. They have Demon Slayer, they have uh, Tokyo Revengers, they have Kila Kill, they have the Seven Deadly Sins, One Punch Man. They honestly have every single anime selection you can think of, many of the mainstream ones available. So, and they have a lot of really dope designs, as you guys can see off screen. They have a lot of, you know, hoodies, which is normal graphic designs. They have jean jackets. They have hoodies, which are covered to the brim with your favorite characters. They honestly have an unlimited amount of selections for whatever it is you want. And, you know, if you see anything up on screen right now as I'm talking that you would be interested in copying yourself, then I would definitely suggest going down below to the description and clicking on the link, which basically takes you to anime apparel. Or you can go, if you want specifically My Hero or Naruto merch, you can click on those separate links links with that being said you can even get a five percent discount off of the already affordable merch by using code zether if you go down below in the description with that being said though guys that is basically all i have for you guys today in terms of the sponsor so we will now get back into the video naruto would start looking at the hoodies and this is when he would see a design by deku he would see a little deku design it'd be a jean jacket with deku on the back and he would actually really like it this is when he would pretty much get kicked right Right in the gut like the store owner would quite literally not just push him out of the store not be like get out of here but he would quite literally rush at naruto as he would kick him in the gut with a thunderous blow after seeing that minato was not 
he was done. He would quite literally use the flying Raijin as he would teleport behind the man and cut his head clean off. Immediately, the man would see his life flash right before his eyes as he would pretty much proceed to start obliterating like the man and every single worker there. Minato would then appear in front of Naruto as Naruto would just be sitting there. He would have fallen onto his, you know, he would have pretty much fallen onto his ass. And this is when Minato would say, Naruto, I'm... I'm so sorry. This is when Naruto would say, who are you? As Minato would pretty much undo the transformation jutsu and he would show himself to be the fourth Hokage. Naruto would go speechless as he would say, Lord Fourth? I, I thought you were d dead. As Minato would immediately smile, put his hands over Naruto's shoulders and say, no Naruto, I, I was resurrected by the Edo Tensei jutsu. And now... I'm gonna make things right with you, Naruto. I promise that you're never gonna have to live another day like this in your life ever again. Naruto would look at Minato as he would get a little bit of a smile on his face and he would say, but why are you helping me? Me of all people. As he would say, Naruto, I'm your father. Naruto would just be like, no, you are not my father. On some Star Wars type stuff. No, I'm totally kidding. Naruto would widen his eyes as he's like, Lord Forth? Is my dad? He would immediately have a bunch of thoughts go at him as he would just think, and the village has treated me like garbage. As Minato would just say, hold up now. What do you mean the village? As Naruto would begin to explain that no, it's not like it's just a couple selective villagers that think that Naruto's the demon of the fox. No, it's almost the entire village with an exception of, of a couple of ninjas. Immediately, Minato would be like, all right, where do you live at? As he would pretty much start walking Naruto over to his house. This is when Naruto would arrive. And essentially, he would pretty much proceed to just sit down. As Minato would pretty much tell him that he's just going to go talk to Lord Third real quick. As he would use his flying Raijin and arrive. This is when Lord Third would say, he would just be hitting there, you know, smoking his little pipe thing or whatever. As Minato would say, so... Looks like you did a great job at taking care of my son. Hiruzen would literally look at him. He's like, hey, hey, Minato, bro, bro, it's not even like that. Like, chill. As Minato would say, I think it was like that. Hiruzen would be like, come on, bro. Like, like you know, you know, I'm, I'm, the, I'm Lord Third. You know, I helped train you up. Come on. The least you can do is give me a pass. You know, I did my best. It was hard raising that boy. I gave him his noodles. I gave him his rent money. And he's only been living alone since he was four years old. After hearing that, Minato would pause for a second and be like, like what he would immediately be like you left my son alone since he was four Hiruzen would just be like I, I mean you know he's fine you know you were an orphan too you know what it's like Minato would say that is my son I'm Lord Forth I asked you for one simple job as Hiruzen would say come on now like we don't even gotta escalate it this far this one Minato would be like nah I think we do, as immediately Minato would pretty much flying Raijin back into the village as he would start slaughtering everybody. Now Naruto would go outside after seeing the commotion and he would see that his father is just throwing giant Rasengans left and right. Minato would have made hundreds of clones and he would have just gone around massacring the entire leaf village on some yope. I can't believe I risked my life. I did all this for y'all just for you guys to disrespect my son. A bunch of ninjas would be like, yo, like like Minato, bro. Like, what are you doing, bro? Aren't you the Hokage? Like, you're supposed to be defending the village. And he would say, you guys were supposed to treat my son with respect. As he would pretty much reveal to all the villagers that, me, you know, Naruto was his son. Minato would be like, nah, 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 nah. You're not about to do that now. It doesn't matter whether he was or wasn't my son. He should be hailed as a hero. He has to have the nine tails fox sealed within him every day and wake up with that battle but instead of treating him like the hero that he is you all decided to put yourselves on a pedestal and think that you are better than my son immediately naruto would rush in as he would see that it's actually ichiraku as he would say i was always nice to naruto naruto would tug on minato's leg as he would say yeah he was my favorite guy as minato would say oh swear 
I mean, Naruto would just be like, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, he was always nice to me. You know, he's the only villager that was ever nice. As Minato would say, all right, here. As he would put a marking on the man, he would pretty much tell him to go to Naruto's house and watch him. Maybe make him some ramen. He would pretty much grab Naruto as they would go over to Naruto's crib. And, you know, Ishiraku would start whipping up some ramen, you know, some good old-fashioned ramen. As Minato would pretty much pull an Itachi on the entirety of the Leaf Village. See, nobody was safe from the hands. Everybody who disliked Naruto, they got the hands. And the people that were like the people were like uh moderate towards him where they were like not really caring whether he was or wasn't the nine-tailed fox we're kind of just like yeah or like who cares like we we don't have the time to be dealing with whether he is or isn't this or that as of course you know they're chilling and you know all the people that didn't really do anything are fine in terms of minato that being said, this is when the slaughter would pretty much stop as uh, the last person that he saved was uh, Hiruzen. He ends up folding Hiruzen last and using, and you know, due to the fact that he has infinite chakra, he folded Hiruzen like an omelet, right? He folded the man, it was, he's not coming back from this like ass whooping and Hiruzen just got completely bodied. After this, this is when Minato would pretty much grab Naruto and Ichiraku as some of the people who were actually in Ochirochimaru's lab, such as Suigetsu and other strong people would arrive as they're just like, all right, so we came here, but but uh, kind of looks like your village got destroyed. Minato would just be like, yeah, a little bit, a little bit, as he would pretty much tell them all to follow him, and this is when they would embark on a three-year journey. Uh, no, 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 not sorry, not a three-year journey. Actually, yeah, they would embark on a three-year training journey where Minato would pretty much end up training Naruto, Suigetsu, and a bunch of random background characters that are just there for Naruto to grow up with a couple of friends, right? Seeing as most of the kids that uh, Orochimaru kidnaps are around the Naruto age group. So there would be like 12 year olds 11 year olds eight years olds you know seven year olds there'd be a pretty big variety of ages in terms of you know who's there now for those three years naruto would have mastered complete chakra control mastered all five elements as well as mastered the rasengan and uh me naruto's a prodigy and minato had already figured out the secret behind the clone jutsu so everybody that was pretty much training with minato during those three years got massive amps and naruto was pretty much on the same level that he would be in shippuden obviously no sage mode and no giant ross and shuriken but he does have the big rasengan and he has a lot more jutsus at his disposal that being said this is when they would use a flying rising mark as minato would have them all arrive to the land of the uh, to the land of lightning or uh the land of basically the place where what's called the fourth raikage is at right they would get there and minato would basically go over to the hokage's office as soon as he arrived because who was gonna stop minato bro this man has infinite chakra like I, how many times do i have to say infinite chakra right now he'd pretty much have a little talk with the fourth and he'd basically be like yo like i spared your life back when you were on some on some you thought you were the fastest so you know it's about time you return the favor i want to move into your village the fourth would not think twice about letting minato in and he'd be like what about the leaf village though as minato would say yeah i slaughtered them all the raikage would be like y you what as minato would be like yeah got rid of you every single one of them that's what they get for treating my son the way that they did. As the right Kage gets shivers down his spine, he's like, all right, remember never to mess with the fourth son. As this is when Minato would pretty much just be like, if Kushina was here, she probably would have made them suffer worse. Because Minato, even though he, you know, he did Itachi the village, he did it in a very fast manner. So none of them really felt that much pain. I mean, they felt as little pain as you can feel when it comes to death. But yeah, they felt as little pain as you can probably feel when it comes to that type of stuff. So yeah, that's basically what ends up happening. And after this, we're pretty much just going to have a giant time skip, about four more years, until Naruto was six years, 16 years old. And at that point, he pretty much mastered the flying ride the Ross and Shuriken, Sage Mode, a bunch of the other people actually ended up learning Toad Sage Mode as well, they ended up developing the uh, Rasengan, and after a while, the Lightning Village pretty much ends up, the village hidden in the clouds, yes, the village hidden in the clouds, not the Lightning, 
but the village hidden in the clouds would pretty much end up taking over the rest of the three other nations. As a, it's a pretty much, it's a one-sided slap, pretty much. It, it is one-sided. They have Minato, the fourth, Killer B. Naruto, at this point, is already stronger than that. And not only that, but he has access to about five of the nine tails' as tails. And with the fact that Minato now also has, you know, the other half of the nine tails, he was able to help train Naruto with how to control the power. So, uh, yeah. That's basically where this little what if not what if Minato was resurrected what if is basically going to be cut short. See, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I saw that little Shinobi Ray video and I had to make it into my own little thing. It, it was it was just such a funny video so I figured I'd make a what if on what you know what would happen, you know, Minato, you know, slaughtering everybody and just it's just a little bit of a funny what if, right? They end up going to the Cloud Village which is obviously not what really would happen. Minato would probably be angry in all reality and he would probably probably still end up staying in the village training up naruto and pretty much just helping naruto become uh, the g that he becomes a canon they also end up stopping the akatsuki after they gain more power more and more and more power and yeah the threat of madara kagi uh, pretty much is all stopped now everything keeps going up until that little ishiki point and in case you're wondering yeah sasuke got gg too because he used to bully naruto as well so uh yeah, that's basically where I'm going to be ending. What if Minato was resurrected? If you guys did like the story, please consider going down below, hitting the subscribe button. Make sure you guys click on the description to go to the original video. Not like really original, but like um, to Shinobi Ray's video or little shorter version of what if Minato was petty. It's extremely funny. I definitely recommend it. Make sure you subscribe, turn on those post notifications and comment down below what your favorite part of the video was. With that being said, you guys all know the drill. I love each and every single one of you guys it has been your boy zether and i am out peace